hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel. Pretty happy about that. Here's a beat. Hey drummers, how's it going? It's Alex once again, bringing some more fun for your drumming ideas. Got a nice little idea for you today, it's going to keep those hands working. It's two groups of six, set tuplets, it's quite funky, I'll break it down. Here we go. Right, I'm going to attempt to be quite quick with this one, but that rarely happens. All we've got to try and do is we've got to get these two little sticking ideas. One of them I've sort of done a few times in some previous videos, and that just goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're dealing with set tuplets throughout all of this, so just thinking groups of six. Okay, so the first one is one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to follow that with this little pattern here, which goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we've got right, left, right, right, left, left. And this is the first half of the bar, this is beats one and two taken care of. So we've got right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left. Okay, it's a nice little pattern. If you add that bass drum to the first, first note, it sounds pretty good. Okay, so for the second half of this, beats three and four, we've got that same right, left, right, right, left, left pan. We're going to start up on the hi-hat, right, left, right, right, left, left. And then we're going to repeat what we did on beat two and then bring the right hand down and go right, left, right, right, left, left. And so throughout the entirety of this bar, if we put the bass drums on beat one and three, we've already got snare drums providing the back beat on beat two and four. So you get this nice little pan. So we go, I'll, I'll break down the groups of six individually. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next group, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then again, one, two, three, four, five, six. What I'll do is I'll put that whole thing, that whole idea into beat context. Okay, so we've got, and I'll, I'll shout out the stickings I'm doing it. So one, two, three, four. We've got right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left. I'm going as slow as I can. There you go. So it's beat one. Beat two. Beat three. Beat four. And let's speed it up. More. Right, so one of the key things, like you can see, is you've got to get that left hand playing nice and delicately on the snare. So keep them really quiet. You want to, you don't want to be raising the stick too high. I see a lot of students what they, when they're doing their right, left, left, right, left, left. They're sort of, and it's all about keeping it down as close to that snare drum as you can. So you're, you know, you're using the bounce more than anything else. So one of the great things about this little idea is once you've got those hand patterns, you can actually sort of rearrange them and use them how you want. So there's no rules at all regarding to, you know, you must play in this particular order. You don't have to worry about that. Obviously, you can do what you want with the bass drums afterwards. But I thought just to introduce you to sort of, you know, just mixing up your little sect up at stickings between the snare and the hi-hat and seeing how effective it can be, especially when you're playing a groove with a bit of swing. So um, I'll just sort of finish off by demonstrating a few. And then um, I'll come and say goodbye. So here we go. Here we go. Okay guys, there it is. I hope you enjoyed that. It's quite a nice little idea. Quite simple, just some basic patterns between the hands. Put a downbeat to it, provide a backbeat, and you've got yourself, you know, just a nice little way of spicing up your sort of basic 4-4 grooves. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give the video a like. That really helps out the channel. And of course, you can go and download the sheet music for free at onlinedrummer.com. So give it a crack and see what ideas you can come up with yourself. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's always great to see uh, a few new faces. And if you want to come and say hello on Facebook or Twitter, then, you know, feel free to do so. I'd, you know, love talking to other drummers. 
drummers as well. Um, I think that's about it. So take care, guys. Keep drumming and uh, give that one a pop. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye.